So now we start burning fossil fuels. We're going to increase the number of gas molecules that the short wave and long wave radiation can strike. And you can imagine if we increase it to the point like the smoke we had where you couldn't see, the incoming radiation is going to have a really hard time getting out, although to be quite honest it would have a hard time getting in as well. So when we increase carbon dioxide concentrations, we by definition will increase the internal energy of the Earth atmosphere system. And that energy is increased through absorption, re-radiation, absorption, re-radiation, and eventually warming up the surface of the Earth. And that's where we see the increase in temperature with time. Now, when the energy levels of a system increases, it moves away from its equilibrium position. So the Earth atmosphere has been in equilibrium during the Holocene. And then in around about the 1960s, all this extra carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere started to impact the system enough that there was enough internal energy for the system to start oscillating. And it'll oscillate. And then eventually, in time, it finds its new equilibrium. We're at a very early stage in this whole energy process. And what we're really seeing at the moment is the oscillations of the energy and these oscillations are causing changes in local gradients and the changes in local gradients are causing extreme events and it's not that long ago that we had our first major category five and hurricane 1989 hurricane hugo uh, 2016 we had hailstones in queenbian earlier this year hails a hailstone event caused enormous havoc and cost here in canberra we're starting to see super cells. These are thunderstorms that are enormous and have such high updrafts that the hailstones can get to be very large. We're starting to see more tornadoes. We're starting to see oscillations between drought and flood, drought and flood. Our climate is nowhere near its new magical equilibrium. It is very much in the oscillation phase. So at the moment, climate change is really about extremes. 